Cafe Anyway. Here we are, Cafe Anyway. It's Mike's Daddy Podcast. Yes, I know. It's time for new glasses. Wow. Yes, I, with the help of duct tape, it's Mike's Daily Podcast. Holding together. Here it's episode 2884, 2884. Mike Matthews. Here we are on a show where we cover some interesting things and a little bit of news. And we talk uh, to some interesting characters at the end of the show. Uh, the podcast characters, po- Cafe Anyway characters, podcast players, don't you know? And they stop by and it's wonderful. And, and we learn things together. Mike's Daily Podcast. That I think is very knowledgeable. It makes you knowledgeable. And therefore, Mike's it is very knowledgeable. Daily that we carry these things Podcast. to your brain yeah, and learn stuff. Chevron moving out of uh, California. As you may have heard, Chevron, they, they make the gasoline and they're leaving San Ramon. And they've been there since, 20, since 2002. I think they've been in California since 1911, but 2002 since... Then they've been in San Ramon, but they're going to Houston, Texas. Houston, we have a problem. It'll be Tesla, SpaceX, Charles Schwab, and Oracle all in the Lone Star State. They got out of the Golden State, and now they're deep in the heart of Texas. Apple shares dropped 7% when Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway sold almost 50% of its stake in Apple last quarter. That's a lot. They got something like $84.2 billion. That helped up the conglomerate's cash pile to $277 billion. Apple remains Berkshire Hathaway's largest stake. Though That Warren Buffett likes the Apple Airbnb Who is Sponsoring And here's today's podcast picture Interesting things I think they're sponsoring something In uh, Oh Nashville That's right I was listening to something There's some big Festival going on and there. I, I was fascinated to, to hear that Airbnb is they're sponsoring stuff all over the country But the podcast picture is not all over the country Just in one spot of the country That would be Lake Chabot In Podcaster Valley The late great Basil the Boxer was actually on Lake Chabot Years ago, around 2018 We took him out there He didn't like it That was the only time He was ever on a boat And he barked at the ducks It was cute Because years and years ago We had an old English sheepdog my mom and I This was in the 80s And I used to take him sailing on a little sabbat It's a little boat, a little dinghy With a sail And the dog's name was Ollie Well, it was a female So we called her Ollie Mop It's weird But my mom always liked the name Oliver I was going to be called Oliver But that the doctor talked her out of it <laughs> The doctor talked her out of it and said, hey, why don't you try something else? Try Mike. Everybody's calling their kids Mike. This show is clean. Everybody was named Mike. Well, everybody's still named Mike, but Oliver was big in 68 because of the movie and stuff. Okay. So I, I'm i Mike, and I realize that Airbnb has sponsorships all over the place. And their chief business officer, Dave Stephenson, suggested that the company may start offering luxury amenities like personal chefs, massages and the sort to lure customers back away from hotels. And speaking speaking of the folks not at hotel, but Intel... It's rough times. The former top chip maker lost $1.6 billion in the second quarter, and they are shedding 15,000 plus workers, stopping all non essential projects in, attempt, in, an attempt, in an attempt to bounce back. So, yes, dogs on boats. 
And the old English sheepdog that we had on a boat, on a on a sabbat, on a sailboat. That was fun. Fun times. <laughs> Mike is on it, man. man. Go where no man has gone. Before. We love it, Mike. Dogs on boats. Oh, by uh, by the way, Lake Chabot. If you do have a dog, they will let you bring the dog on the boat that you rent. I think they only let you put boats on that lake that you can that you rent from them at that little marina. So if you do that, but if you bring your dog, they will put a little dog um, life vest on them. So very cool. So we're having a bit of a correction going on in the market. Market sold off in a hurry. This is Mike's podcast picnic. Oh, yes. So since we did go to the lake, we didn't fish. But here we are today enjoying some delicious tuna fish. You cannot find tuna in Lake Chabot in the lake. But here's some tuna fish sandwiches. Enjoy with my podcast picnic. Here at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth in the land of Ameritopica. Where the weather can't seem to decide what it wants to that. I got into it. <laughs> what it wants to be. Really, really hot, really, really cold, doesn't know. But that's probably happening where you are as well. A correction on Wall Street, um, let's see, is down 10%. That's what a correction is. 10% down from recent highs. That's what they call a correction. The S&P 500 is down almost 10% from the recent highs. It did a little bit better than on Tuesday. NASDAQ 100 is in a 14%. Sometimes you wear stretchy pants. Stretchy pants down, draw down. After an extremely up year, the past couple weeks, there was a correction that came a knock in. After a run on new highs, sometimes the stock market needs a breather. So check this out. In the past 97 years, so almost 100 years, as we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley, the last place on earth. In the past almost 100 years, there have been 33 corrections. 33 of them. So it's not a rare thing. It just freaks everybody out. And the media loves to jump on it. Let's talk about the media. What drives the media is the same thing that drove the media before you and I were born, before our parents were born, before our Anyway was born, before Aunt Anyway was born, here at Cafe Anyway, before Cafe Anyway was born. Everything, before everything was born. There was this guy called Hearst, William Randolph Hearst. And he knew that if it bleeds, it leads. And... The biggest headlines, the biggest controversies, the biggest conflicts, everything else would grab the eyeballs that he wanted to sell the papers to make the money. So although we use the media to get the news and by the news, not just the goofy guy with the comb over sitting there in front of the camera in front of a fake backdrop of, you know, I mean, people, you know, people get stuck on stupid. That people watch, that people get stuck on stupid on. No. It Not just the news But in its rawest form The information that you need Right now The info Because we can't call it fake info the, the, the term that everybody knows is fake news Made famous by somebody That everybody's calling creepy and weird now As if that's something new MTV but- News You hear it First. Even MTV Even MTV had news But the info that you want You rely on Well You gotta find it In this world of so many media sources There's there's so much media There's social media now That just gummed up the works <laughs> Made it even worse Now everybody is a source of media I heard I heard what? I heard But what is the one source for media? Now, if you have a country with one source for media, well, what does the the government usually ends up controlling that source of media? And then you don't find out. Fabagoo. Things to do. Things to do. You, you, You find out what you want to know. What you need to know is what they want you to know. And that's the Fabagoo thing to do these days. Fabagoo, by the way, was a website that I knew the guy that ran it. 
And it was a website to tell you the news of what there was to do around town. Things to do. And that, unfortunately, the guy ran out of money, had to close the website. But he used to be on this podcast doing it. So a healthy correction might be a good thing if it will stave off an unhealthy correction down the line. You want a healthy correction versus an unhealthy one. And I get my information from a guy named Rob Black. I produce his podcast. He does the Rob Black Show podcast. And he's heard on AM 1220 KDOW weekday mornings. He's on Cron TV uh, Monday through Thursday in the 9 o'clock hour. So in this world where so much information is at your fingertips, you have to be smart. You have to try to be smart. Try to travel into the incredible universe because you are in the incredible universe of all this knowledge, all this information. Duran Duran once had a song called Too Much Information that came out with that song in the early 90s. The same album that had Come Undone. Can I believe you break my heart to pieces? And also that one, uh. And trying to make my way to the ordinary world, I will learn to survive. And what was their other one? The too much information. So there is too much information for all of us in our busy lives just to weed out all the bad stuff we don't need. You just have to be smart. I wish you well. Good luck. But don't, don't. Be, question where you get your information. Don't just rely on one. Magnification. Magnify the amount of places you get your news from. There is a 5% downturn that is guaranteed in most years. A double digit drawdown happens around two thirds of all years since 1823. So every around two thirds of all the years. There's a double digit drawdown The average correction in a given year Is about minus 13.7% The Royal Trump Tweet Decree Decree. Oh what is his latest decree I don't He just sticks to his truth social most of the time Always complaining about Kamala Every time they call him weird He does the cackling Kamala thing And now it's all, you know, whatever vice presidential pick she would have picked would have instantly, the first words out of his mouth would have been, extreme liberal. You can just see she picked an extreme liberal, far left, lefty, all that. That's what they first jump on. So who now, and then he'll scream fake news, fake news, fake news. People on the left scream fake news. They're not given all the information. What's really happening between him and Melania? Well, you don't know because of the fake news. They don't tell you. The corporate news. The 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 major the legacy media. All uh, nah, it's crazy. Just give me none of the media is worth you know, they want your eyeballs. You know, and then All of that So just to say Just to muddy all those waters And say All media is corrupt in some way So just be careful But you gotta get your news from somewhere Same thing with politicians Now a guy I know Who's pretty right leaning White wing (laughs) It's basically Yes the two W's But he is He even says Well Politicians are basically dirtier than a bunch of snakes in a bucket of mud. So, I don't know. He basically says you can't trust any of them. But he doesn't like Kamala, so go figure. The current correction is weak based on historic data. Any correction that we're having at this moment. But the stock market goes down even when it goes up. Pretty much. Something to remember And one last thing The U.S. is having a small car renaissance The cost of automobiles ballooned 20% In the years 2021 to 2024 In those three years The cost of automobiles ballooned 20% Not 0.2 Not 0.25 Not just 2% But 20 
Not people are asking to skimp my ride. People are asking to skimp my ride now. Sales of smaller vehicles that are cheaper are on the rise. People are shunning SUVs and pickup trucks that have long dominated. Vans mutations. Mutation. Mutation. What did he say? Vans mutations? Yeah, I guess vans are mutating. No, maybe it was bands mutations. But you got your bands in the van. Most bands drive around in vans. But yes, the vans, not so much being bought, not so much the SUVs or pickup trucks, but small cars. Overall vehicle sales growth is at about 2% for this year. Compact sales, though, compact car sales are up 18%. And SUV sales are up 12%, a little bit less. Now, the Chevy Trax sales have jumped 230%. Wow, this is compared to the first six months of last year. The Chevy Trax is up 230%. It costs about 22000 bucks. Meanwhile, sales of those giant pickup trucks have declined by around 4%. Most compact SUVs are under $30,000. The average cost of a pickup truck is around $60,000. Pickups aren't going anywhere yet. The three best-selling uh, flying saucer pickup truck? No, but that would be cool. The three best-selling vehicles were pickups. The Ford F-Series, the Chevy Silverado, and the Ram pickup. What about electric vehicles? The cost currently puts them out of reach for most out of reach for me And then you gotta do all the retrofitting to your house To make it so you can charge them dang things Outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcaster Valley Look who's here Wow As you know there's a real scary holiday coming up Hello my Matthews It's Charlie She wanted to get jumped to her What's the scary holiday coming up Mike Matthews Uh Labor Day Why is it scary Mike Matthews Well because you gotta work on it It's in the title Labor You gotta labor in it I don't like the word labor. Pregnant women don't like the word labor. Nobody likes that word labor. Let's hear it for labor. That's, I guess if you're a politician, you want to be pro-labor. But the uh, labor, I'm laboring the point. Mike Matthews, I think you are. Do you want to buy a snow globe? You mean the egg that you... Geronome. You draw a Geronome type egg... On the egg that looks like a egg And you call it a snow globe It's very confusing Mike Matthews, I think you oversimplified what I do Mike Matthews Do you want to buy a snow globe? Sure I'll break it open and make an omelet Look who else is here Oh Mike, this is Floyd the Floorman And this is John Deere the Engineer Mike, have you checked your recording device To see if you're recording any of this mm. Oh excellent idea Yes I am That's good And I'm also putting it on My Facebook page That would be facebook.com Slash Mike's Daily Podcast You want to see me actually Talking into a microphone Doing all of this wonderful Exciting stuff And you can also call me On this phone number here Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway Hotline Area code 510-228-4640. Excellent. You should try this root beer here at Cafe Anyway. It's really good. And with more ways to find out all things Mike's Daily Podcast, see podcast pictures, past podcast pictures, listen to past podcasts, etc. All that is found at the website that I pay for. That is simply titled Mike'sDailyPodcast.com. With all that information, we go to the mainframe and hear from A-Frame. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at Mike'sDailyPodcast.com. Email Mike now at Mike'sDailyPodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.